Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Batwoman because Batwoman wrapped up um, and it's as terrible as possible. But what's happening is um, the reason why I want to bring this up is because we know that um, Kate Kane and you know the father, the father of Kate Kane and Alice isn't returning to the show. Or whatever and stuff like that so it I don't know how to really explain in this one but you know Gregory Drew Scott and Wallace Day are returning as Kate Kane and um whatever Kane it is I forgot his goddamn name because it's been so he's been so irrelevant from season two anyway but the reason why I want to bring this up is because it it goes into this thing where the media Hollywood entertainment in general thinks that they can take a mantle of an original character and literally get rid of the original character that created that mantle and literally think that they can replace them with some diversity token hired character and then think that we're supposed to just be sure this is fine this is fine and it's not fine it is it is not fine why bother bringing Kate Kane back if you're just going to say that she's leaving after this season you know what I mean? Like, Wallace Day looked and acted and felt more like a Kate Kane in the comic books than Ruby Rose as. And you should have just swallowed your pride or whatever. And I really could care less about people who like who like Ryan Wilder as Batwoman. And literally made Wallace Day Batwoman again. She should have been. She should have been anyway. Like, to be honest... Ryan Wilder's character as Batwoman literally should have been her, literally should have been her filling in until Kate Kane came back. That's it. That's it. Like it or not. But this whole thing where you're, you're getting rid of the character. So we're forced to deal with this diverse character that nobody asks for is just beyond ridiculous. And that's, it's, it's been, it's been rumors and happenings around when it comes to like, anything especially comic book related wise where they want to replace classical characters so you got superman being not only being replaced with a black superman that nobody asked for they're talking about that supergirl sasha cowley done signed de contract deals or whatever and she's going to be playing supergirl um in the future or whatever and stuff like that and it's just like for what that's not what most fans want most people want superman you know and then you got you got Ben Affleck being replaced with maybe Michael Keaton Batman, maybe Robert Patterson's Batman, which that's still stupid too. If he originated Batman in that DCEU, that's the Batman and that I need that people want to see. You have more merchandise of Bat um Ben Affleck as Batman than anything else, and you want to get rid of him because exactly. It's just time and time again where we're running into this thing. It's not even just, it's it's just all of entertainment where we're literally running into these things where we're literally taking characters on purpose, literally. We're literally getting rid of them for another diverse character or whatever, stuff like that. Like, I just don't understand, especially when you have the character still there and the demand is there for the character or whatever, stuff like that. You know, um... It is happening too frequently is what I mean. Like, you know, back in the day, it was okay because it wasn't as frequent. But it's becoming so frequently to the point where it's just like, come on now. Come on now. You have you have a great actress with like Wallace Day who actually wants to be Batwoman. And instead of swallowing y'all pride, y'all like, no, we got to double down on this diverse black black woman as Batwoman and stuff nonsense. But wait, our ratings are declining and our finale didn't even draw in anybody. And it's the third lowest rated episode in Batwoman history. Like, come on now. That doesn't even make no logical sense. Why even, why even get rid of main characters that actually form the face of that character, of the character Batwoman? And get rid of them because at that point it's not even Batwoman anymore. It is it, is not Batwoman because that's not who Batwoman is. You know, it, Kate Kane currently is Batwoman in the comic books. Ryan Wilder only had one appearance. That was it. There's nothing interesting about that character. 
you know, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. And then you're doubling down trying to do season three without like, what, what more do you, what more do people have to say? Same thing with the, oh, Black Panther, somebody else can just take the role, but they're not going to be T'Challa in the role. So why would I go and watch Black Panther 2 without watching T'Challa? I am i don't understand how that works. I want to go and see Superman. I didn't go and see Superman 2 and expect to see Supergirl or Superboy or Lois Lane as the main characters. No, I expected to see Superman. I expect to see, if, I, if there's a Batman sequel movie, I expect to see Batman. Is other characters great? Yeah, that's fine. But if the movie is named after the main mantle character, then I expect to see those characters. At this point, Batwoman should just really be called Black Woman. Because that's what it is. It, it, it has nothing to do with Batman at all. There is hardly any Batman theme going on there. The story is nonsensical. And, and for what? To push, to push agendas? To push um, black victimhood, to push LGBT bull crap on people again. Like, I just don't understand. All of that stuff I just said was just, just crap. And when is it going to be about the art is what I want to know. That's all I'm saying. I, I want to know when is it going to be about art and not this, this ideologue of ideas to check off a box. Make a good story. It's right there in front of you. But all this, all of this stuff that people that 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 happen in entertainment, where we're where we're doing dumb things like we're recasting, we're recasting characters as the opposite sex, or we're we're um, race swapping them, or we're changing their sexuality. We're even tackling historical drama pieces where we're like we're trying to make serious stories and stuff like that. I know how some people, because I know the Anne Boleyn thing or whatever and stuff like that, and I know people want to probably try to bring up the Hamilton thing, but the Hamilton thing never told you it was a it was a, a serious um historical piece. It was just a musical going over the details of Hamilton in in a dramatic fashion. It was not there to be a real historical piece. It never was planned to. It was literally just a damn fun musical describing the life of Hamilton. In a unique, fun way. That's it. Stop looking more into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is okay. But the crap where you're literally purposely making a drama piece series and you really want people to take it serious. And then you're saying, oh, let's get rid of the white the white character and put in a black actress in the role. No, that's stupid. And then get mad that people are bowing out from this stuff. Look, people like what they like. People like continuity. People like originality. People like the characters that they already like. These A lot of these characters have been around for years. Like it or not. But trying to get rid of them and trying to replace them for diversity um, points, it doesn't help. All it does is turn people off more. And th this right here with this whole Batwoman stuff, it the show's not, not going to really be able to recover from this. You know, you said you wasn't going to bring Kate Kane back. You said that there it was going to be another mystery, even though you never solved the mystery of what happened to Bruce Wayne. But then you wanted to set up another mystery with Kate Kane. And then you, you said she wasn't coming back, but then you she did come back with a new face, sort of, or whatever. And now we're writing her and her father off. So what? I guess they're going to look for, for um, Batman. I don't know. I didn't pay no, pay no attention to the damn show. I'm not going to sit up here and lie and pretend like I did. Because it's just not a good show and it just shows how incompetent of a writer writers and creators they have working on these projects enough of the nonsense and just give us good stories that's all i'm saying just give us good stories focus on the art more so than the ideologue if the ideologue falls into place that's great but if it don't don't worry about it you're worried about the wrong thing you know what I'm saying? And stop trying to tell the fans what they're wrong about or whatever. You know, fans are passionate about their stuff. You know, they the ones who've invested in this stuff. And a lot of people who um just now coming into this stuff are the ones that are trying to tell fans, the old school fans, that, oh, you guys are just being fanboys or fangirls or whatever, stuff like that. And it's just like, we the ones who've been putting more money into this stuff. You know, it's getting annoying 
of people trying to tell people who've been in the game for a long time uh, about these characters that they've been reading and collecting all this time. Yes, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna talk to the creators or whoever stuff like that if they make a mistake or they retcon dumb stuff because I've been reading this stuff, I've been invested in it or whatever stuff like that. If it worked before, why change it now? You get what I'm saying? We're getting too many retcons and alternate takes of everything nowadays that is getting too old. Can we keep what we got and learn from the history, learn from the past, and stop trying to disrespect it just so you can keep your ideologues? And that's the weird thing, too. You know, it's just weird how everything just happened like that. But, hey, it's, it is what it is. Batwoman Season 2 is over. I can really care less. It just was the topic of thinking about everything that they were talking about. And having two of the original characters be permanently gone from the show just makes no logical sense. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.